So gabapentin versus benfotiamine, I wouldn't say it's a versus. I, I would say there could be a synergistic relationship with both the prescription and the supplementation. And I don't want to just single out gabapentin. There is nor neurotin out there as well, which um, has uh, which is similar uh, medication. That's great medication that I, I probably wouldn't be able to manage my office without either of these medications, neurotin or gabapentin. But I do, you know, like benfotiamine as well for my patients that um, that I know can benefit from it and will actually utilize the supplement. But the difference, um, like I said, one's a prescription, one's a supplement. So gabapentin and neurotin, which are, you know, similar family. And then you have uh, benfotiamine, which is a supplement. Um, they both work similar, but do different things. So the prescriptions treat the symptoms by allowing the neurotransmission augmentation that I talked about earlier. But then you have the supplement, which actually supposed to encourage regeneration of the the, uh, the, the nerve tissues. So when you're saying uh, for bifotiamine specifically, is allowing the regular availability of vitamin B1, which regenerates the cells of the nerves. Um, so that's a little, it's a little different, right? So you have one that's treating the symptoms and one that's doing regeneration um, according to the literature. And, then, and so there can be, like I said, a synergistic relationship. So when I, when you, if, I think we talked about it earlier, but when it comes to patient choices on it, if I have a patient that, you know, can't, you know, get any sleep at night or can't, be, you know, are not comfortable, that's when I consider, you know, a gabapentin and a neurotin or even a topical benfotiamine at night or throughout the day because you also can get um, benfotiamine uh, topically from companies as well. And that's where, you know, that's kind of that hat plays on. But if you have early stage patient, like I said, we talked about earlier, and an early stage patient that just doesn't want to get to that progression of numbness and they're only experiencing a lot of tingling and some burning, that's when I want to get those nerves um, regenerated and offer uh, bifotiamine to the patient or at least educate them on it and then they can read about it and hopefully, you know, have a conversation about um, using it uh, moving forward. But usually that's how I approach it. So if you're, you know, if you're in my office and you explain to me that you have these early burning sensations, we're going to have that conversation conversation about bifotiamine. And then you're going to, um, if you you come in numbness, can't sleep, it's hurting all day, it's kind of start, you know, ca causing problems, then we're going to have that conversation about gabapentin and neurotin. But if you're still working and you, you have to be able to operate machinery, drive a car, then uh, we have a little challenge, right? Because you can't be, you can't be taking active neurotin and gabapentin while driving. And that's where things come into play where we talk about the topical benfotiamine. So everything kind of works together and that's kind of how it goes. So it's, I wouldn't say a versus, I would just, say it, they both, they're in, they do similar jobs. They treat similar patients, I would say maybe, but they do a little bit different jobs. So that's probably the best way of 